Hi, I'm Diane Posler Slattery. I am presently the CEO of a health system, and I have been that uh, in that job for quite a while, for the last six years here in the health system that I'm at. And I've been in healthcare for all my life. I'm a registered nurse by background, and I have an immense passion for patient care. And that's the business that we're in. So when I came to this job, I really had five areas that I wanted to make sure that we were in the top quartile in the nation. And those areas were around our patient's experience, around our employee engagement, our provider engagement, our financial sustainability, and our quality and safety. And as I said, I've been here six years and I'm the leader, I'm the CEO, and we were making progress. And I was getting all excited and I was thinking about, wow, I'm really making an impact. And all of a sudden, year three and a half, maybe four, we stopped making progress. We just plateaued. And I told you, I've been in healthcare a really long time. And I have a whole toolkit. I mean, I've got you know, books of ways in order to motivate, inspire. And I pulled out every single toolkit that I had. And we continued to stay plateaued. So there's nothing more uh, disappointing. Maybe even, uh, you know, you beat yourself up as a, as a leader. Why can I not get us to top quartile in all five areas? So it takes, I'm going to say, it takes some courage as a leader to say to your executive team, to say to your organization, I have no more tools. I don't know how to get us there. And that's what I did. I sat in front of our leadership team, there's 14 of them, and I said, guys, we're stuck. So then we tried a lot of other things. You know, they gave me ideas and we tried more things and we tried more things and guess what? We stayed stuck. And I had had the experience to work with a program called Creating Our Best. And I knew that this was risky. I'm, I'm going to tell you flat out. It was risky as a leader to bring in a program that you know is different than any other program that executives have ever experienced. Let me just put it out there. This program is intimate, it's transparent, it's risky, it's bold, and it's exactly what we needed. So I asked this group, Creating Our Best, to come in and work with our executive team. Now, what was the risk on it? The risk is as a leader, you bring in a program that you know is gonna take people to a personal level, it's gonna take that into the, an intimate level, that's not a typical workplace. You know, we usually like to say, mm, we don't want that. But to bring that in, so as, as their leader, I was extremely anxious. And you know what? After the first couple sessions, I was still anxious. And here's why. Uh, that anxiety that I was experiencing was, what if this fails? What if, what if, what if, what if? As a leader, Diane, you brought this program in and and what if your leaders look at you later and say, what were you thinking? But here's the, here's the epiphany that I had. We're stuck. So what if I bring a program in? So what if it doesn't work? Uh, we're stuck where we are. This is one more tool to use. And here's what I can tell you as a leader of a healthcare system. It was the exact right thing to do at the right time. Creating our best has moved our organization. And what's my evidence? The last two months, we have hit top quartile in all five of those areas, the last two months. I recently had one of my senior executives, who I know was skeptical about the program, come and say to me, Diane, I am convinced that had you not had us go through creating our best, we would not have broken through, particularly with our patient experience. So as a leader, I am telling you that yes, this is bold, it's courageous, it's risky, it puts you out there, but for our organization, it was absolutely the best thing we could have done 
and I'm so blessed to have been able to work with the team and move our organization through the work of creating our best.